So last time on Dragon Ball Super NV, Vegeta had gone to hell with Goku to find Nappa after reflecting on how he was the one to send him there despite Nappa's decades of loyalty. After eventually then gathering the Dragon Balls back on Earth, Nappa was revived but was soon met by an angered Tien who challenged him immediately. With the two now having flown off, Vegeta used the last wish of the Dragon Balls to shockingly wish for Nappa to be the most naturally gifted Saiyan in history. And in today's manga, while Tien and Nappa face off, we'll see exactly what the implications of that wish were. But before we begin, support this video and channel by leaving a like right now as you're reading this and watching till the very end for its shocking conclusion. Enjoy. So our story begins after Nappa and Tien have flown off by themselves and land in the middle of the mountains to sort out their differences. Tien, just like before, still looks on with an intense anger at the smirking Nappa. Tien begins... Keep smiling, Saiyan! You have no idea about the world of pain I'm going to unleash on you! This is for Chao Tzu, with over 20 years of interest! Which Nappa then just shoots back with... <laughs> Chao Tzu? Who was that again? The little weirdo of all the makeup? The one who killed himself? <laughs> Don't tell me you blame me for that. I hardly did a thing. And this thing I knew, poof, he was gone. Shut it! You know who I'm talking about. Your silly attempts at triggering me won't work anymore. All you're here for is a beatdown. While Nappa replies, huh. Come on, three eyes. What is this really all about? Are you jealous of my Tash? You know this all happened decades ago. I'm completely different now. Just as Vegeta said. The old me would have wiped you and your friends out one by one with ease as soon as I saw you again. But here I am at peace, letting you all survive and look how you're treating me. Seems you earthlings are more heartless than even us Saiyans. <laughs> but Tien, who doesn't find any of this funny, just quips back seriously, wipe all of us out one by one? You deluded little pig. You really have no idea the leaps and bounds we have come since you last saw us, have you? It's easy to see, since you didn't age in hell, you're just as ugly as before. But you forget, we earthlings can sense power levels without a scouter. And it's shocking to know that you're pretty much just as weak as you used to be. How pathetic. What? Suddenly, Nappa's cocky demeanor then vanishes as he questions. You... you can sense my energy without a scouter? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You have no idea about the power I've gained surviving in the midst of hell. It's a different kettle of fish to the pathetic peacefulness of this planet, you fool. I'm practically a Super Saiyan now, kid. <laughs> For once, you actually said something worth laughing at. You, a Super Saiyan, you know as well as I do, you're nowhere near that power. But enough talk. If you're so confident that you can wipe me out, come at me just like you did all those years ago. Go back to being that monster just for today, and see firsthand where that gets you this time. And the now angered Nappa, tired of Tien's mocking, just responds, You really have gotten way too big for your boots since I died, haven't you, three-eyed freak? I guess since I have your permission, then I can let loose for a bit. I'll be sure to show you once more. The power of a Saiyan! strength before a motionless Tien. Tien, then with a look of complete calm and quiet confidence, then just tightens his fist behind his back, while the enraged Nappa yells, Keep talking to me like that after you take this! 
throwing his fist at full power at Yen, but ultimately having it stopped with ease with one palm by Tien, who is still yet to change his facial expression. Eventually, however, the events bring out a smile in Tien, as he then lets up provokingly, This is what you think is a Super Saiyan? <laughs> if that's the case, I must be using Ultra Instinct right now. To which a completely triggered Nappa responds, What? Ultra who? You must have got lucky stopping that one! But if you think that's all I've got, you've got another thing coming! <laughs> Immediately launching into a barrage of punches, but yet again with no sign of effort, Tien parries and immobilizes each and every attack, still with a smile on his face. But enough is eventually enough, and Tien parries before punching Nappa straight on the nose. <laughs> Sending Nappa flying at top speed into a nearby mountain. <laughs> what did he hit me with? It was so fast and so strong. That was from that freak? No way. How could he have become this strong? Or have I somehow just gotten much weaker in hell? Damn it! Slamming his fist into the ground in rage, Nappa then continues. This doesn't make any sense! I'm an elite Saiyan! Only second to Vegeta! There's no way in hell that this Earthling bests me! No way at all! It must have been a fluke! The last time I saw him he was screaming in pain like a little girl! This time, it will be no different. I'm going to make sure to rip off the exact same arm. Just you wait and see, you weird circus act. Huh? But as Nappa gets up and looks around, Tien is no longer visible or in his line of sight. And he comments, What the? He vanished. Don't tell me he has that same technique Kakarot has. Or did he just run away? Damn it! Wish I had my scouter right about now! But suddenly, from the distance above, a familiar voice calls out, Hey Baldy! I'm over here! What? And just like that, Nappa turns around, and sees far in the sky, a ready for violence to end, commenting to himself, So he didn't run! But why all the way up there? You're just wasting my time at this point, punk! Get back down here and fight like a real man! You hear me? Get down here! But Tien, just looking down, responds, No thanks, I'm all good over here. And you're just perfect in that spot over there. Don't move now, this will all be over in a flash. Goodbye, you monster! Huh? What does he mean it's over? What's that fool going to do from all the way over there? But as Nappa ponders, Tien slowly gets Nappa within the sights of his hand. For a very familiar technique we all know. Try Beam Cannon! Ah! <laughs> what is that? That power and speed! I can't do anything! I'm... I'm done for! Sorry, Vegeta. And instantly there is a humongous explosion that is let off from the power of the almighty Tribe, one that hit directly on the unsuspecting Saiyan. And watching above as the smoke begins to dissipate, Tien thinks to himself, The fool was too slow to even know what was going on. That was even easier than when I hit Cell. At least he put up a fight. But a sweat drop then appears on his face as he continues. Ironically, I had to use a lot more energy in order to restrain myself. He should still be alive, just barely. That's the only way he could experience the same pain we felt back then. And below 
Low Tien is a perfect triangular hole created by his now perfected tri-beam technique. Miles deep with no sign of Nappa yet. Eventually, Tien knowing the battle is over then lets out a sigh and says, Phew, this was a weight off my shoulder. A martial arts master should not let his emotions sway his actions. My students would be ashamed. But this saying, he had it coming. Ha <laughs> I guess you could say this was me teaching him a free lesson. He now knows what it was like for us to be powerless. But this is as far as I need to go. At this point, it would be embarrassing to beat him any further. He really has barely progressed in power over the years. But as Tien gloats and pats himself on the back, a mysterious hand grabs onto a piece of rubble. And inside the triangular crater, a brutally damaged Nappa lies just barely alive, just as Tien had predicted. He remains in complete silence. Until suddenly, his heart begins to thump, louder and louder, and his eyes suddenly open, pupilless. In an intense rage, and now with strange yellow and black eyes, Nappa screams in anger, and one powerful yellow aura shoots from the crater, completely taking off guard Tien, who reacts, now, what's happening to him? And with that, both eyes of Nappa now open with those same yellow and black eyes. The new Nappa lets out. This is not over. Three eyes. Ah! Roaring at the top of his voice. As a massive aura exudes from him, destroying what was left of his armor. Bulked up and his muscles bulging with veins, just as Vegeta's wish had granted, Ikari Nappa has been born. <gasps> what the? Suddenly, every single one of the Z Fighters is alarmed at the sudden increase in power they sense, with Vegeta commenting, So. It begins, and Goku commenting, This power, it's strange. I feel like I've sensed this before. While Yamcha says, Uh, hey guys, are you still sure this was a good idea? And Grin responds, I don't think Goku was ever going to have a good idea, Yamcha. I hope Tien's going to be okay. While an infuriated Piccolo yells, Damn it! I knew this would happen! If he makes one wrong move, I'll finish him right there and then! Got it, Vegeta? While well, Gohan finally chips in... What is this? This can't be a Super Saiyan, can it? Krillin then continues with a nervous face saying... Oh jeez, what have you got us into, guys? I think this might have been a mistake. You sure you don't want to step in? But at first, unbothered Goku just responds, Oh come on Krillin, relax. You know this is still nowhere near what we've had to face before. Even Cell was a bigger threat. One thing that's confusing me right now though is, I kind of thought he was weaker too. But I guess he must have been hiding his power level from me. Huh? Wait a second. The wish! Don't tell me. But suddenly, a wave of shock riddles Goku's body as he comes to a realization. Vegeta! This is your fault! His power must be increasing because of the wish you made! He's getting stronger every second! Tien could be in trouble now! To which Vegeta then immediately just breaks out into laughter, saying, Ha 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 ha! Looks like my wish is indeed starting to work already! Nappa is finally tasting some long-awaited power, and deservedly so. But I see no reason why you're worrying. Sure, 
He might hurt that three-eyed mutant, but he's nothing compared to us. Let them have their fun. I'll step in if either of them is about to die. Don't you worry. Whatever power this is Napper is using, it's increased his power tenfold. But he's no Super Saiyan yet. Let's see what this Tien fellow of yours can actually do. <laughs> but Gohan looking on disappointingly says, This isn't funny Vegeta. Mr. Tien is our friend, and I won't let him get hurt. I'll be the one to stop things if Nappa gets any stronger. To which Vegeta responds, Hmm, tough words, kid. I guess that would be a nice change from how you ran away the last time you fought him. Before Vegeta then places two fingers on his head and continues, Do as you please, but I'm done waiting around here. Now that the wish is in full effect, there's no way I'm missing this. And just like that, Vegeta instant transmissions away to the battle. Hey, wait Vegeta! We're not done here! And just like that, following Vegeta's lead, Goku 2 then instant transmissions to the battlefield. Vegeta arrives first, quietly hiding himself behind a rock, with Goku arriving soon after. But as they get closer to the action, Vegeta initially shushes Goku saying, Be quiet you clown! I don't want them to realize we're here. I want them to go all out and see just how strong Nappa has truly become. But as they get a closer look at Nappa in his new form, both of their faces quickly turn to shock. <gasps> N Nappa? As they stare at the now yellow and black pupils of Nappa, Vegeta can't help comment, This cannot be! That form, isn't that the same as Broly's? With Goku adding, Yeah, you're right Vegeta. There's no doubt about it. That's the same, right? Meanwhile, Tien, who has still no clue about what's happening to Nappa, looks on cautiously and says, so, you finally stopped playing around. I was wondering how it would even be possible for a Saiyan to be that weak. I'm not sure what you just did, but now you might actually be a tiny channel. But a smirking Nappa, amused at Tien's confidence, responds, <laughs> A challenge? The lack of respect here is disgusting, I have to say. Even I don't know what this power is yet but I have to thank you for volunteering to be my body bag to test it out. I'm surprised. You haven't run away already. After all, you are capable of sensing my new power level, aren't you? This power running through my veins is at least 10 times stronger than where I was a moment ago. You still have time to stop this and leave here alive. Final warning. To which Tien just smiles back confidently and says, Ten times, you say? Yeah, that sounds about right. Definitely an impressive transformation, worthy of a saying. But you know, you guys aren't the only ones that can increase their power levels instantly. Allow me to show you one other way. A way I think you're already familiar with. After saying this, Tien's power begins to slowly spike as he reaches deep inside for an unknown power. <laughs> Kaioken Type 10! And just like that, Tien powers up with a now crimson red orb. <gasps> that red key! That's. that's what Kakarot used when he broke my back! Damn these earthlings! Where do they learn this crap? While Goku, who is somewhat surprised with Tien, comments with a smile. Ha! <laughs> so Tien has not just been teaching, he's been keeping up with his training too. Now, this could get interesting. While the fired up Tien Shinhan finally says, 
Stop staring at me and come at me saying, the real fight starts now! But that was it for today's video guys and if you made it this far leave me a hashtag Ikari Nappa in the comments down below and let me know if you want a part 2. As you know this entire manga you are reading has been created by myself and if you want me to make a sequel video or read it for yourself in its entirety before anyone else you can do so by just supporting me on my Patreon where there are tons of rewards at each tier starting as low as $3. Links in the description and pinned comment below, but if you want to see more of my signature style of content, just click on one of these two videos on the right, right now. Until next video guys, cheers.